Hi, I'm Marie from Marie's Custom Quilting, and today I want to show you how you can take a plain jeans jacket and turn it into a work of art. I made this custom leather piece to go on the back of my jeans jacket, and I want to share this adventure with you and tell you the story of how I made it. I'm here at my favorite thrift shop looking for a jeans jacket because that's the first thing we're going to need, right? We want something with a squarish back, shoulder to waist, nothing too complicated, and that's what's going to create our pattern and our, our boundaries for what we're going to be quilting, okay? So let's go inside and see what we can find. So we're looking for the jackets. These three jackets are examples of what I don't want. The long one is just too long. The lighter colored one is an odd shape with a seam down the middle. And the other one, I don't like the design of the jacket. So that's why I'm not choosing these ones. Ooh, this is a great vest. Look at that vest. See how that makes a nice square frame for the panel? That's gonna be super easy to stitch that on. So I like that one. Ooh, this is another perfect one. This is a great score. Oh, I love it. This next part is all about transferring your image to the leather and then quilting it out. So however you wanna transfer it is fine. Use a leather marking pen, use chalk, use tracing paper, Whatever works best for you is what you should do. Then you quilt it using your domestic machine or your long arm. You want to use a leather needle, whatever batting you have and whatever backing you have. And the whole point here is to just take a deep breath, just do it and get it done. After you've quilted the leather, your next step will be to use dyes to give it some color. I started out with the ones that I had and I ended up not liking the color so I had to get more dye. When you do this, make yourself a sample and if you don't like what you have, get your other dyes before you move on so you can have a plan before you start. Also, you want to have just a small amount of dye on your brush when you go to touch the leather because otherwise it gets gloppy and it doesn't look nice. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you'd like to see more, you can go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. It's Marie Anderson Quilted Art. Or you can go to Facebook and Instagram at Marie's Custom Quilting. I also have a web page, www.mariescustomquilting.com. Bye.